and so again, it's, it's like Occam's razor in the scientific world, right? You want to use the simplest explanation that it's not that fits the facts, because you don't organize your perceptions by facts. It's kind of like you want to use the simplest tool you can possibly manage to fix the problem. So you don't, when your car has a flat tire, you don't buy a new car. You, you fix the flat tire if you can figure out how to do it. And so you go for the, the thing that will put the tool back together with the minimum involvement of time and effort. It's something like that. And you care about that because you have limited time and you have limited resources. And so it makes sense for you to conserve them. And I'm, I'm telling you that partly for practical reasons too, because this is a very useful thing to know. If you're arguing with someone, you want to argue about the smallest possible thing that you could argue about that might fix the problem. You want to really specify it. It's like, what's going on at a micro level, and what's the minimum that I would require to be satisfied with the outcome? And if you're, this is especially true in intimate relationships, it's like, if someone's bugging you and you want them to change, you think, well, how can I be minimally bothered by this, and what's the tiniest amount of change I could request that might satisfy me? Because otherwise, the argument will come unglued, and every time you guys try to discuss a problem, you'll start talking about whether you should even be together, and then you're done, because you'll never solve a problem. And then you won't be together, because you'll never solve a problem. <laughs>